Hello family, the door to the new year is about to open. And I know that spiritually the gate is already open unto you because children of God are always positioned. Hallelujah. When it comes to spiritual matters, you are the first to know because you are always in the presence of God. And everything that is happening in the realm of the spirit, the spirit of God shows it to you. I don't want anyone here to remain behind. And remaining behind means that you remain behind spiritually without entering into the new year. You know that you can feel you are in the new year and yet you didn't enter spiritually. You didn't enter well. Things begin to not work in your favor. Why? You didn't position yourself well to possess the land. Hallelujah. The Lord says, the land you are about to possess, the land you are about to enter into is good and he has already loaded it with good things. So this is the time that you have to push because the enemy is spirit and God is also spirit. You are also spirit and for you to possess that which is yours, you have to get it spiritually first. This is why I'm pushing you in this time. I know that this is the time where it's the peak of resting, the holiday time. It's easy to just forget that we are spirit first. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit will help you. God is ahead of you. You will not remain behind. This is the time for spiritual warfare. This time is the right time to rise and pray. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, whoever is around you, you have to give time to being in the presence of God. You have to give time to spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare is actually declarations, declaring what you want to see in the new year, declaring what you don't want to see. And remember, whatever you say, whatever you confess, because the spiritual world is only words. That's why you see people who pray and position themselves in that prayer room, reading the word of God, which is just words, which is backed by the spirit of God, you are able to access those blessings. You have the spiritual weapons. And in the new year, we are going to embark on a fast. We are going to really push ourselves forward to rise higher and higher and higher so that the enemy has no room. The enemy cannot catch up with us. So I hope you are excited that the door or the gate to the new year is about to open to you. Open up, patient gates. Open up, patient gates. Let me enter. That's what you'll be praying for. That's what you'll be declaring. Hallelujah. And that gate is going to open up to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Your transition from this year to the new year shall be smooth in Jesus' mighty name. I want you to be excited. I want you to, to love being a child of God. Because things work in your favor. Even when you don't pray right, even when your life doesn't seem like it's making sense, God can turn it around anytime. Walk by faith in the name of Jesus. Walk by faith. Hold on to that which you cannot see right now. Walk by faith. And as you walk by faith, you continue to stand and stand again and again until what God is doing has manifested in your life. Faith is spiritual. When you say you are going to enter into the new year, is there a border there? There's no border. The border that is there, the gate that is there is spiritual. It's a spiritual gate and may it not close against you. I want you to pray. I want you to enter into spiritual warfare in this time. Do your own personal fast. I know that you'll be celebrating, entertaining people. I know you have already entertained. You entertained on Christmas day, maybe Christmas Eve. But now, position yourself to enter into the new year properly. Well, because the border to the new year, to crossing over into the good things God has for you, this is what it means. Crossing over to the good things that God has for you, to the great year God has prepared for you, to those breakthroughs, to that resting place. Because you have gone through so much, God is giving you rest. God is giving you a new start, a new beginning. Hallelujah. He's starting again with you. He's starting again in your life because you have gone through all that and is giving you double portion of rest, prosperity, joy, good health. Everything will become new. He's doing something good in your life, something new. I'm talking about you walking by faith because faith, you cannot see it. You cannot touch it. It's spiritual. And the gate that you'll be crossing is spiritual. 
So you have to do it through prayer, through reading the word of God, through fasting. These are spiritual weapons that you have to take a hold of and use them to your advantage. Those who will be sleeping, just wandering around, enjoying and eating and eating and drinking. The kingdom of God is not about all that. This is the time that you take a hold of your own destiny. It's not all up to God. It's also up to you. That's why when you're reading the word of God, especially in the program Proverbs 31 woman that started and opened the doors to every woman, I talk about this, that when you are reading the word of God, you have to look at your responsibility and God's responsibility. And then you can rise to the next level. Then you can be who God has called you to be. Because the spiritual world is about words. That's why you see those who don't even pray, they've taken the scriptures and they are running with it. While us Christians who are supposed to read the Bible and understand what God is saying and what God wants us to do to access that spiritual realm, we are busy sleeping. We are here just wondering why prayers are not being answered. We are going to rise as children of God. You are going to cross over to the new year with a new mindset. Hallelujah. With a new you. With sitting with yourself and saying, where is my life now? Where do I want to be in the new year? Because if you position yourself that way, God will help you. God will guide you. The Holy Spirit will direct your path up your game. Even in that house, even if it's filled up with people, even if it will be on the 31st and everyone else is enjoying and uh, talking and, and, and dancing and whatever will be happening, you as a child of God, you must leave. Hallelujah. Crossover. If you want to be in the presence of God physically in a church, stay in your room and cross over. The few hours from this year to the new year are crucial to be in the presence of God. Leave everyone behind. I'm not saying you shouldn't be praying for them, but you cannot be around people who don't want you to pray and you listen to them. You stand your ground. Let everyone know you carry the light. You are the light of the world. Hallelujah. They will be looking for you and they'll be like, where is she? Where has she gone to? And you'll be in your closet praying, declaring what you want to see. Hallelujah. Declaring what you want to see. Closing the door against the enemy. This is the time. And I pray that God will be gracious to you. I pray that you'll be strengthened. I pray that you'll be determined and never be distracted in this season and right now. Let the new year be a different year. Remember spiritual this is what you have to understand. It's a new thing, a new year, another 12 months that God is going to give to all of us. And those who are walking with their eyes open, they will see the good things of the land. They will spot the opportunities immediately they enter because they entered with the Lord. And may none of your family members remain behind. May you be covered in the blood of Jesus Christ because you are the light of the world. And woman in that home, you are the angel of the house. Hallelujah. You are the angel. You lighten up the path. You lighten up the house. You lighten up the family. Hallelujah. And everyone follows. As you smile, everyone is happy. And may God give you the grace. Hallelujah. May God give you the grace. And I pray that you take your ground. Even when you'll be driving, whatever you'll be doing, declare. Declare what you want to see in the new year. Declare what you want to see before this year is over. It's not over yet. God is still doing great things in this year. Those who know their God shall do exploits, shall do great things. Why? Because all the time they are in the presence of God. God can show you what will be happening as you are crossing over. Maybe in the next minute, maybe in the next year. God is not going to let your blessings be carried over to the new year because he has great and mighty things there stored up for you. I hope this has given you courage. I hope you are motivated. Wherever you are, know that God is ahead of you. He is with you right now and you are a blessed child of God. May the name of the Lord be glorified. Jehovah will never leave us nor forsake us. Hallelujah. His name be praised forever. Jesus, you are glorified in our lives. In any season, in season and out of season, you remain the same. Thank you so much for watching. Be persistent. Persist. Stay motivated and never give up. Because God is good. And where he is taking you is greater. Stay blessed. And I'll see you in the new year. Bye for now.